And in this video, we're going to take a look at a very special type of Lewis structure. It's a Lewis structure dealing involving a coordinate covalent bond. So what is a coordinate covalent bond? Well, a coordinate covalent bond is simply a bond in which a single atom contributes both electrons to the bond. Normally, when a bond is made, an electron comes from each atom and they share those electrons in a common bond and so the electrons can go back and forth like that. But in a coordinate covalent bond, both electrons come from one atom and none from the other, still forming a bond. So how does that work? Well, first of all, let's draw the Lewis structure of ammonia. So that's not, this particular Lewis structure will not include a coordinate covalent bond, but it's a start of what I will show you will be something that has a coordinate covalent bond. So ammonia has nitrogen and three hydrogens. Now remember that nitrogen has five valence electrons and hydrogen has one valence electron. Of course, there's three of those in that molecule. So we have a total of three valence electrons from the hydrogens and five valence electrons from the nitrogen. So what does that look like? Well, we have a nitrogen in the middle because obviously it's the only one that can form multiple bonds. And then we'll probably have a hydrogen in each case like this, making a bond with the hydrogen. Notice that in this respect, the hydrogens are all satisfied. They now share two electrons with the nitrogen. So they each follow the octet rule for hydrogen, which means only two electrons in, in, in each orbit. Nitrogen start out with five valence electrons. It used three of the five to make the three bonds, so it'll have two more valence electrons like that. Okay, so now nitrogen also satisfies the octet rule because it has two, four, six, eight electrons at least part of the time. And finally, we notice that the octet rule is also followed for nitrogen because there's two, four, six, eight electrons for, so satisfying the octet rule as well. So this is the Lewis structure for ammonia. Now what happens when a hydrogen ion happens to come along? For example, let's say we start out with hydrogen chloride and they're separated. Now typically when hydrogen chloride is separated, it's very likely that hydrogen will lose its electron to the chlorine because chlorine is much more electronegative than hydrogen. So hydrogen becomes a positive ion and chlorine then becomes a negative ion. And if that positive ion then gets attracted to the ammonia, it will now form an ammonium ion. But since hydrogen does not have any electrons to contribute to the bond, both of these electrons will be used to make a bond with the hydrogen. Space here, so, so this, when those two then join together, you end up with something that looks like this. We have a hydrogen over here, we have a hydrogen over here, hydrogen over here, and a hydrogen over there. <clears throat> now notice that um, this hydrogen came in with a positive charge. Ammonia had a neutral charge, so when you add something that has a positive charge to something that has a neutral charge, this then becomes a positively charged ion. So this is now lacking one electron, so this is now going to become a positive ion. So the proper Lewis structure for an ion is to draw it like this with the ion's charge on it. So let's make sure, first of all, that it's following all the rules. First of all, notice that each hydrogen is sharing two electrons part of the time, so the hydrogens are satisfied. This nitrogen has eight electrons part of the time, so the octet rule for, for nitrogen is followed, so we're good there. But notice now that we came in with not three, but four hydrogens. So now we have uh, one nitrogen uh, atom, which has five electrons, and now we have four hydrogen atoms, so we have one electron for each times four, which is equal to nine electron, uh, I'm jumping the gun here, I'm already adding them up, I don't want to do that, so we have four electrons for all the hydrogens, we have five electrons for nitrogen, so we, sh we should have a total of nine electrons in this particular arrangement, but notice two, four, six, eight, there's only eight electrons being used, where we should have nine to begin with, so we're lacking one electron, so therefore we have a positive charge like that, and this becomes an ion. So instead of ammonia, we now have ammonium ion, and so this is then the proper Lewis structure. We put big brackets around it, indicating it's an ion, and then we also put the charge on there. Other than that, the octet rule is followed, and uh, we are missing 
ammonium, that's an I, and we are missing electrons, so we do have the positive charge there. So that's how we draw a Lewis structure for this particular ion, and since in this case a bond was made where both electrons came from one atom and not from the other, we have what we call a coordinate covalent bond, which is right here. Now, of course, once the, atom, once the ion is made, it's impossible to figure out which of the four hydrogens made the coordinate covalent bond. We just know that it, well, at least one of them had to be that, otherwise you couldn't have the ion. And there you go, the Lewis structure involving coordinate covalent bond.